All right, we're back at it. Time to work on the bottom end, do some oil pump and pan upgrades. As part of my refresh um, Aether System 3, I wanted to make sure that the oiling system it was as reliable as possible. I've done that with two areas. One is upgrading to the Evo, the 3.2 liter Eurospec oil pump and pan assembly. The Euro S50 is a pretty good setup uh, in terms of the oil pump and pan and, and pickup. It's got some baffling, it's got some inner baffling with trap doors, two trap doors here, um, which restrict flow out of the main sump. However, under braking and turning into a high speed corner, it all tends to drain towards this end. And what that does is there, you have a potential of running out of oil sucking dry. BMW recognized this in their track cars for the LTW lightweight, as well as the later generation Gen 2 E36 M3s, the Evos. And they went to this design, distinctly different design. So this is actually from a 3.2 liter car, and it differs in a couple ways. One, it's a double pickup. The primary pickups here, it's kind of hard to see, but I'll bring it up. There's a secondary pickup down in here, a little mini sump. While it doesn't completely stop, it does substantially reduce the chances of oil starvation under hard cornering. So this is what I'm going to be installing on my car. Upgrade from the original design, which is decent, to a much better design, which is much more track friendly. The second part of that is addressing one of the known weak areas of the BMWs, and that is the oil pump sprocket. There is a nut which holds the sprocket on, and an extended high RPM stuff you see at the track, the vibrations of harmonics tend to cause this to back off. And the quick fix is to safety wire this or to weld the nut on. I'm not a big fan of either. It, they work, and they do address for the most part the bulk of the problems. What it does not address is the inherent weakness in the actual drive shaft itself. So to address that, I ordered a VAC Motorsports upgraded uh, pump shaft and sprocket assembly. And I'll be installing that. So first thing to first is to disassemble the pump and then we'll, we'll talk about the VAC pump assembly and what the differences are between it and the OE. All right, I've disassembled the pump, primary housing, mid housing, and the nose. And this is the shaft that drives the two impellers into the first pump's assembly, the second pump assembly. Obviously one pump drives the rear pickup, and this one here, pump, drives the front pickup. The VAC upgrade addresses a couple of challenges, if you want to call it that, with this design. You can see here that on this drive shaft, it's stepped down pretty heavily from the original diameter down to the splines, where, which drive the actual sprocket, and then the threads for the nut. So because it's stepped down so heavily for this design, this is one of the areas where it can break. And then once this breaks, obviously the sprocket spins free, pump doesn't spin, you lose all pressure and bad things happen. So VAC has dealt with that by just redesigning the shaft. So the big difference between the OE and the VAC setup, besides using a high strength hardened shaft, the design of the shaft is quite different where the sprocket attaches to the shaft itself. Instead of using a spline that the OE uses, instead they have it ovalized to keep it clocked. And what that does is it gives a much wider cross section. So the actual outer diameter is the same as the shaft. Combined with the fact instead of using a nut and splines, they use a high strength ARP style 12 point bolt, which has been cross drilled so it can be safety wired to this. So the combination of high strength shaft, this ovalized with a lot larger cross section, and this high strength nut, or bolt I should say, is, provides much superior strength and reliability over the OE setup. So to do this, I am gonna press off, measure and press off this sprocket, and then press it onto the VAC shaft, and I'll reassemble it into the pump assembly.
my VAC upgraded shaft and sprocket assembly is installed on my Euro 3.2 liter pump and pickup assembly. Awesome, went together really easy, instructions are awesome. And I'm looking forward to getting, finishing this whole thing off. All right, that's it. I got the VAC upgraded pump shaft and sprocket installed, pump primed and ready to go, ready to be installed in the motor once the bottom end's finished. Oil pan, dual pickup, essentially the lightweight LTW slash GT slash Evo upgrade should go a long way to ensuring the long life of my bottom end of my Euro S50. Thank you very, very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. If you do, give us a thumbs up, click the notification bell, and click subscribe if you haven't already.